The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David, a Savior has been born for us, who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and, laying him, and lying in a manger. And suddenly, there was a multitude of heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Is it Christmas? Yes, we finally made it. We've been anticipating it for four weeks during the four weeks of Advent. In our second reading it says, we await the blessed hope. And the blessed hope is here. He's in the manger. The Son of God is also now the Son of Man. He has come in flesh and blood like you and I. He comes in a way that no other God has come before. And those other gods are all small g gods because they are not the one and the true God. The God from God, light from light, true God from true God is who Jesus Christ is. He's our Savior. This moment, 2,000 years ago, the beginning of the Jesus moment on this world changed everything. And even those who do not believe in Jesus, even those who do not know Jesus' names, lives have been changed because of Him coming to this earth 2,000 years ago as a human. As someone with flesh and blood like you and I that has feelings, that has temptations, that has to sleep at night and has to eat and walks and talks. And He comes so that we can have relationship with someone like us. Because if you're like me, when we think of God, we think of this 
being someplace way far away. Something so great, we are so unworthy and I cannot approach Him. But when He came to us as a baby, born in a manger, put, put in a place of lowliness, and yet through that lowliness raised everyone to be brothers and sisters in Christ so that we might one day go to heaven and spend eternity with our Father. We have this relationship with God that here we are at the beginning. We're celebrating Jesus' birth. And again, even those that don't believe, even those that don't know the name of Jesus, guess what? For the last six months, we've had Christmas decorations in every store. And their lives have changed. The retail world has changed. Because why? Most of their business is done in the last 45 days before Christmas. Even if they don't believe in Christ. The date that we celebrate, 2019, is changed around Jesus' birth. Because it changed everything when He entered our lives. And it still changes us. We are changed tonight just by being here. Just by being present. By us singing together. Praying together. Worshiping together. It changes us. It changes our hearts. It changes our minds about, guess what? Maybe it's not so bad whatever that thing was you were thinking about before you came in. Maybe God can help me with that. Maybe Jesus, that one who came as a man, can understand the suffering I'm going through or the challenge I have. Guess what? Do you and I have to put up with different people's personalities? Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at Jesus. Read the Scripture. He had 12 apostles and their, apo oh, their personalities, right? Did He have temptations? Yes, Saint, Satan tempted Him. Did He cry? He actually wept, it says, at His friend Lazarus' funeral. And today, we celebrate as a small baby. Why a baby? Why a baby? Because that's how we start. He wanted to experience as a human everything we experience. And so, when you and I pray, when we go to God, when we say, in the name of Jesus, when we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, in a, in a way, we are asking someone who we have relationship with, who can feel like we feel. Who can experience life like we experience life. Brothers and sisters, that gives me hope. Again, in this uh, second reading, the blessed hope, He is the hope of the world. He brings us peace beyond understanding. He brings us an understanding of unconditional love. That's very hard for us to take because if you're like me, I a lot of times put conditions on my love. I'll love you as long as you do this for me or you do it this way. And if that were true in God's love to me, if He says, Father John, as long as you never sin, I'll love you. Woo I've knocked myself out of that one because I sin. We all sin. But He comes to us as a baby. As, as the most vulnerable of all. A human baby. That we must take care of. We must change. We must feed. We must burp. We must do all those things for a human baby. You know, there are many... Have you ever experienced baby... Cats, dogs, cows, pigs, 
deer, lambs. After just a few days, they're up on their own and going. Now, mama still needs to feed them a little bit. But a baby human, because we came from that vulnerable place, and because Jesus came to us in that vulnerable place, it gives us hope. It gives us an understanding that this is the most special moment, the Jesus moment. And we come and we celebrate with family and friends. And isn't Christmas a joyous time? Isn't Christmas a blessed time? Isn't Christmas also for some a sad time if this is the first Christmas they have not had someone with them? But there's always hope. There's always God's love. We sang with the young people here, Joy to the world! The Lord is come! O little town of Bethlehem, away in a manger, these songs for me bring such comfort because I've sang them for years. They're familiar. And brothers and sisters, when you come to Mass, isn't it familiar? Even if you come from out of town. And isn't it familiar here? It's so similar. It feels right. We know it feels right. Why? Because God is present. God is present in the tabernacle. God is present in the Word. God is present in the, in the worshiping we do together. And in a few moments, when I pray the prayers of consecration, God will appear to us in His body and blood for us to receive, to feed us for the journey. As we give thanks this day, as you give thanks every day forward, remember that this gift that God came, gave to us, this baby, this vulnerable person, human being, it's Himself. And it's the blessed hope. And so as we live our lives and we run into challenges and we have temptations, we can return to the familiarness of relationship with God. We can come again once to Mass. We can go in prayer. And we can say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread. Help me through this situation I'm in. Because you came like me. You know how I feel. You know who I am. May this Christmas, may the seeds of love and caring that you get planted in your hearts by being at this Mass, by being with your family, by dinner you will have tonight, by breakfast tomorrow morning, by receiving each gift or giving each gift. May those seeds bolster in you an understanding of that hope and that love that is the child Jesus.